Hello, and welcome to another side play. Me, Game of 6 of Great Troubles. Before we start, if you're interested in playing this game, you can get it for free on Fur Fendi, I guess. You just go here, boop, here's some links. I completely forgot that, like, you know, you can go for links. Uh, I went on this person's, uh, you know, Fur Fendi to get this game. But, uh, yeah, nonetheless, let's play. We went back to our place, went to sleep, uh, met some guy who is a bully, but not a bully, I guess, and some drugs were stolen from a, from the infirmary. It was like sleeping pills for some reason. Um, there's a festival about to start. Is there anything else? Oh yeah, and the bully and the bully who might not be a bully were avoiding. But it's all complicated, because raisins. Also, somebody was giving letters to somebody. I'm not sure who, if it was the teacher to the infirmary person or to somebody, the person they were infatuated with to me. But this is a yaoi, and she's a lady, so I'm not sure how that's gonna work. But anyways, reset my face. And continue. I need to check out Tim's schedule. It's on the ground floor. Scott, here you are. Gosh, what happened to you? Your lip is split. Oh geez, hopefully not split. That sounds kinda not good. It's nothing. I just got hit. We need to clean it. Come on, let's go. It doesn't even hurt. You shouldn't. He just grabbed my wrist and dragged anyway. Or wait. He isn't even listening to me at all. There isn't a single soul here. The doctor must have just left, I bet. Look, there's no one here. Let's go back. Where's Mr. Norbert? This is exactly why he was robbed so easily. Kevin's was right. Our doctor seems so careless. No problem. They can clean your lip. He took out a vial and a cotton ball from the drawer. Hey, we shouldn't be going through the doctor's stuff. We'll be punished. Don't worry, this drawer is available for everyone. There are only basic necessities here. Yeah, I guess it would be good to have first aid stuff. Around the schools, you know, but, uh... I mean, like, stuff that anybody could use, you know? You seem to know what you're talking about. I've been an assistant here for some time. I... Uh, I like medicine. My parents were doctors. Were? Does that mean they're dead? I probably shouldn't ask. Kevin looks sad. I'm sorry I made him think of it. And what else do you like? Okay, it's really weird sometimes when I'm doing some of these things and it's like, the music sounds loud, but then I look at it and it's like, yeah, it's just kissing that yellow. So it shouldn't be too loud, especially compared to me. And what else do you like? Do you have a hobby? I like chemistry. I I find chemistry kind of interesting, but I never understood where it was like, yeah, you get these two, you have this chemical equation here. What makes it go from one side to the other? I don't know. Never good at it. Even though I took organic chemistry and I hated it. Anyways, in fact, I'm head of the chemistry club. Wow, both Kevin and Vince seem to be serious guys. I'm also interested in spice. If the Astronomy Club hadn't broken up, I would have stayed there. And what happened to the Astronomy Club? They were less of us as time went on. At one point, the student council took away our, our room for our meetings, and that was that. I thought astronomy was supposed to be a popular subject. There was a time I thought so too. Anyway, the night sky is up there for everyone. So are the stars. It's only a mat. It only matters. It only matters who looks at them. Mm. He sounds so romantic. It's gonna hurt a little now. He puts the wet cotton pad to my lip very gently. It stings a bit. He's such a caring person. Are we gonna smooch him? I wonder if there's someone else he has to care for. He we stay silent for a bit. The clock's ticking and Kevin's quiet breathing is really soothing. It calms me down. You know, I got into someone's fight. 
expected Kevin to look surprised. Maybe he saw the fight? I went to separate Greg from Chris. Chris is... I know Chris. Funny, you haven't met him before. I mean, he's our classmate. Really? I've never seen him in class. No wonder. He skips class a lot. You're very brave. But you should be more careful. They're school bullies. No, wait, they're the school bullies. Kevin worries about me. I feel like I can trust him. I think that Greg's... I, I think that Greg... Sorry, I'm trying to read. I think that was Greg who took the guys in Halo the first day. Perhaps. But it's better not to probe into the details. Just in case. Chris told me the same thing. Did he? Interesting. But he is a bully too. You can't trust him. I don't know what to say. Kevin is silent too. Now, you cut his sterile. Everything is going to be alright. We can go. Great. Thanks for the help. You're always welcome. I run my tongue along the sore spot of my lip. It already feels like it's healed a little. I should get to my club now. See you tomorrow. Good luck. See you. I should go to my club too. I must have got about that letter. If we hadn't come to the infirmary, I wouldn't have remembered. I need to come back here at 3 p.m. I'm actually curious too. Snuck away from the no, snuck away from the club's meeting as soon as the time was about to come. Now I'll finally know if Samantha's heart is taken. Someone's coming. I need to hide. God, please don't let it be her. Okay, it's Mr. Burnett. If he's going to stay here for long, he'll ruin the date of the doctor and his beloved. Well, come on. We'll do it because I'm curious and nosy bastard. Oh, I'm no better than him right now. I'm too curious to go back. Mrs. Bennett isn't leaving. It's almost 3 p.m. Should I pull him away? As I stepped closer, I heard some rustling noise. The door is closed, but I still can't see what's happening in the room through the door split. A doctor is standing near one of the parents' beds, patients' beds. His fingers are run through the papers he holds. He seems worried. The blush on his face looks unhealthy. Mr. Bennett stands in front of him, smiling. His arms are folded over his chest, and his gaze looks much more attentive than it does in the classroom. His glare is... playful? I didn't expect you to come. You almost burned a hole in me with that look, remember? I couldn't help but come here. The doc Now the doctor is blushing desperately. You're overreacting. I am really not. Mr. Bennett reaches out and gently corrects, corrects the doctor's cheek. What's going on here? You do know how fast rumors spread here, don't you? Next time you make this mistake, they'll start to discuss our sex positions. I don't care. Mark, I... I like you. Just like... Likes and dislikes are for children. You're a big boy, William. Be honest. Tell me what you really want. Doctor took a step back, pushing Burnett's hand away. He sat down on the bed, lowering his eyes, and even trying to pretend that he's... Is he? But that's not the only thing I want. Of course it's not. I'm gonna have to censor that. I'm gonna do this so I can do that. Well, I guess there's a reason why it's 18 plus. When the doctors glance at him again, Miss Burnett approached. Resting his hand on the doctor's shoulder for a moment. That's when his hand slides down to the doctor's body and bends that coat as it goes. He hooks a finger into the doctor's belt, bucking the lid, and pulling it free. Could that love message be. Boy, it sounds loud, but it really isn't doing that far. Be Mr. Burnett's love message to Dr. Uh, Mr. Norbert? Wouldn't be Dr. Mark. Uh, I heard the unzipping sound teacher helps the doctor with his pants while slowly stroking one of his thin and elegant horns with his other hand. The doctor can't help but let out a soft moan 
as he trembles and gasps at the teacher's grasps at the teacher's hair. Don't expect much from me, Will. Even my kindness is not inexhaustible. I'm too shocked to understand anything of what they're saying. I need to get out of here now. My head starts to spin. I'm not seeing this. It's not true. It's all just a dream. It must be. I have to believe that. I won't ever read someone's letters again. Not in the same. Not in this game session. Fourth wall breaking? I'm just glad it wasn't Samantha. What a relief. Well! Okay. So, I wonder what other stuff is in this game. Is Samantha gonna get some nookie, or is the main character gonna get some nookie? Who knows? Maybe. What was the other one? I promise. Let me just check if that one is. Okay, yeah, also from Fumiko. It was this one, also 18 plus. Oh, it's 16 plus, so it must be just kissing and smooching. Also in English and Russian. Another long day has come to an end. I'm exhausted. You know, at some point I might just go through this game and click all the options. Because I would want to, you know, go to these bonus things and see it. Well, I'm glad that they kind of center it like this, so I don't have to go out and do stuff. What is status? It's also here. Wait, so why is it in gallery but also unsee it? I don't know. Exhausted. It's time to finally unpack my stuff. But my bed is so soft. I'll do it tomorrow. On my way home, I finally... I finally got to talk to my mom on the phone. She didn't ask me anything. She just told me how she was doing. That's su that she settled in. And that everything is fine. I'm glad that she and my sister are okay. And I finally learned Tim's schedule. It looks like he doesn't attend any clubs, so he would have gone straight home after class. Who's Tim? His homeroom teacher was so surprised when I told him that his, I'm friends with Tim. Perhaps he's very unsociable. A, so I get, wouldn't it be the um, uh, golden retriever, right? Maybe it's the uh, nerdy guy? I don't know. I should be able to catch him before class starts tomorrow. Also, I learned that. Heck no. Nope. Not gonna think about that. Never gonna think about that. I almost forgot about it. Yeah, I didn't see a thing. Vince stepped in, interrupting my thoughts. Hi there! It looks like you're thinking about hand jobs. I'm so hungry. I can eat a dick. Have you had any dinner yet? Like dick? Nope, let's go together. You're back late, so late again. Do you have a lot of work to do in the club? Heh, <laughs> pre-holiday rush. Or yeah, pre-holiday rush. Oh, what's this? A boner? What's what? Your lip. Oh, that? It's nothing. I just got roughed up a little. Well, let's go downstairs, and you can tell me everything, okay? I can't sleep again. There was the f a fight today. The day before yesterday, they were bullying Tim. Okay, so it was the inhaler guy. I'm not sure if we would be called friends. Granted, it's been a hot couple of months since I last played. Yo. Know, since I played the first episode, so yeah, can't remember much. It feels like I was tran transferred to a really dangerous place. But I've already made friends with Vincent and Kevin. They're good guys, and that's enough for me to enjoy things. Chris seems to be hiding something. I should try to talk to him. He has a, a very rough, frightening voice, but he's not a bad guy. Uh, sorry, completely lost name. Chris? Okay. If we meet tomorrow, then, then. I woke up before my alarm clock rang. My sleep schedule is totally out of whack. The room is so bright and warm. Time to get up. Maybe I'll finally unpack my stuff. Vincent is still asleep, facing the wall. His chest calmly rises and falls with his breathing. He's usually quite emotional. I don't even know how he looks when he's relaxed. 
and I lean in to take a closer look. I hadn't noticed before, but Vince is kind of handsome, and definitely more masculine than me. His hair shimmers in the daylight, it seems so soft, there's no harm in touching it, right? I mean, this game is only two hours long, at least according to things, so caress. It's no big deal if he wakes up. I pretend I just want to wake him up. His hair is actually soft and unbelievably smooth to the touch. He isn't re reaching to my touch, so I pet him a little longer. Vince wake up when his alarm goes off. He looks very sleepy, but kind of funny. He rubs his eyes and notices me. Senpai notices me? He's surprised. Wow, you're up early. Can't believe my eyes. Good morning. Morning, Vincent. So that's the story. I laugh, and Vince enters with a warm smile. You've already decided what you'll do at the festival? Festival? I haven't asked my club what we're doing yet. Ask him what I can do for them today. Not yet, but I'll find out today. If you end up finishing early, it will? You could come with me. I'll interview our teachers and club members, and we can go somewhere to have a snack and... hand job. Oh wow, look at the time. We should hurry up, so we aren't late for class. I hadn't an answered this question. I need to find out what our club's doing foist. I feel strangely cheerful today. Maybe it's a good sign? Samantha lifts my spirits more than usual. Right now, she's talking to her friends. I can hear them giggle from time to time. How can I get her to notice me, I wonder. Hey Scott, you wanna eat lunch together? It's lunchtime already? That explains why there's not much people in the classroom. Sure, let's go. I looked around, but I didn't see Vince anywhere. You left without saying anything? What a traitor. The food was tasty. But I didn't see Vince in the cafeteria either. Vince is the golden retriever. Sorry. When you play a game for a long while like Sileo and like Smoke Room, you can remember people's names unless you haven't played it for a month. But God, I wish all visual novels had Sileo's interface because it's like just being like, who the fuck's Joe? And then I can just right click and it's like, ah, Joe is this person. Is he hiding something from me? We still have time before our next class. Wanna take a walk? Uh, sure. I'm not sure if this one thing's where it's like, you take a walk and you get extra stuff, or don't take a walk and just skip to the next thing, or if it's like, if you take a walk, you meet this person. If you don't, meet this other person. Sure, let's go. I could use some fresh air. Now that I'm alone with Kevin, I remember the conversation we had in the infirmary yesterday. Sure, I changed the topic pretty quickly, but I'm curious about what happened to his parents. But, it'd be implied to ask him about it. It's so hot. Yeah, I am. Maybe I should ask? Once again, why do I even want to ask? Something on your mind? You look very thoughtful. Yep. Oops, that was unintentional. I mean, nope. Nope, it's, yep, yeah, actually. I know it's none of my business, but can I ask you some questions? What's up? Of course. Ask away. Yes, see, you mentioned your parents were doctors. What happened to them? And here we go. I'm almost 100% sure they're dead now. I won't be surprised if Kevin's offended by this question. Well, they decided to change jobs. So, they're actually alive? What? Why should they be dead? Of course they're alive. I'm an idiot. Sorry, I don't know why I thought that. Hmm. And how about your parents? I never had a father, but I used to live with my mom before we moved. Did you move with her? Yep. Then why don't you live with her? What? Oh, I mean, we moved to different cities. You two don't really get along with each other? No, we just... I mean, she moved to her new husband's house. It's hard to live without parents. I know how you feel. His parents are alive, 
But he doesn't sound like he's ha he has a happy family. Why are you looking so sad? The sun is shining. The birds are singing. Don't think about it for too long. Kevin's a good guy. We should get back to our class. The bell rang 15 minutes ago, but a teacher hasn't showed up, probably giving more hand jobs. Everyone's chatting away at their desks. C guys, come on, be quiet. Finally, it's Mr. Bennett? He's not our physics teacher. Students, listen to me carefully. Your physics teacher won't be here today because he's giving out hand jobs. <clears throat> I mean, so now you have time to study for time for individual study. Please don't leave the classroom. Trust me, I know if you're wandering around the school, but I'll know. I strongly recommend that you work on your assignments from homeroom. Don't act like you finished already. I can see it in your eyes. He left. I wonder if our physics teacher is ill. You weren't told beforehand. Mr. Bennett never will never look the same to me. But I almost managed to forget. Almost. Ish. We don't usually have free classes. They should have uh, found someone to teach the lesson instead. Looks like it was a surprise even to them. I think so. Hey, I want to ask you something. And now Mr. Bennett reminded me of the fact that I have never seen you doing any homework. Oops. I know. I'm still not quite used to this place. When trying to start studying, my head starts to hurt. It's almost, it's mostly the truth, but I actually completely forgot about homework for the last few days. God, I hated homework in my first college, because like, we had a math class. It was a bad combination of, they gave you all the answers to the math homework, which in certain circumstances could be fine, but there was so much of it, you could you would spend hours writing down the answers and all the, you know, the work to the answers to hand in. So like, you'd spend, or maybe I just sucked at time management back then, but I feel like I spent so many hours filling out, like, the answers to homework. I didn't, you know, study it, which, you know, sucked. And you had that, we had that class like three times a week and it spent hours at the end of it. Maybe I shouldn't have taken that many classes, who knows. If it go on like this, I'll never see another A on my report card again. Is your school making you feel uncomfortable? He looks sad all of a sudden. No, that's not it. I just need time to adapt. I feel a little awkward and I don't know what to say. Vincent's just standing in front of me. I've got to change the subject or get out of here. I... I've got to go to the bathroom. Fine, but don't be long. Mr. Bennett could come check on us any minute now. I mean, he's going to the bathroom. That was lame. And I don't need to pee at all. There's a soothing breeze coming through one of the windows. Even though it's hot today, it feels really nice. Hold on a second. Is that really Chris lying on that bench? He is in class. I doubt he's ever been here, there this year. How oh, hasn't he been expelled yet? I don't know what's going on here. I should go back, shut, but should I go back to the classroom? <coughs> eh, check outside. It's actually Chris. One sec. It looks like he's taking a nap. In a cool rock away. He's hugging something. It's a bat? Need something? I wonder if it's like a baseball bat or a bat person. I can't sleep while someone's staring at me. Why aren't you ever in class? I could understand if you didn't attend school at all, but that's weird. I have my reason, Scott. Looks like he's enjoying my reaction to his bat. Don't be afraid. I'm not going to hit you if you behave. He sounds like he's joking, but this isn't funny. It gives me the creeps. Yesterday, you told me I shouldn't trust Greg. Now you're, now you're the one that's scary. Me? Scary? Funny. I think you know something and don't want to tell me. Brave questions. You aren't afraid at all, are you? I am, 
But you're the last one that will tip. I need to know. Why? You haven't been here all week yet. And you're already sticking your nose everywhere. Bother poor... Bother poor old skeletons in their clothes. Uh, I guess maybe it's a translation thing. Why? Or maybe it's like skeletons in people's closets. I don't see what he's getting at. I just want to help the guy with the stolen inhaler. It's like nobody knows this what's right in front of them. You're the one who doesn't know the thing Scott. He clears at me coldly. It's obvious he doesn't want to talk anymore. But I know he knows more than any anybody does. Everyone knows this. Everyone sees what's happening in school. Missing textbooks, school uniforms, money's being stolen, those Yu-Gi-Oh cards that were stolen to me in my sixth grade. And Halo's too. Someone finds themselves locked in the changing room. Someone wakes up on the roof without any clothes on. Okay, um... Story time? Someone stops coming to school, and nobody knows why. Just harmless planks, right? Ranks. His ironic tone is repulsive. I have thousands of questions in my head, but I'll wait until he's done speaking. Who's your suspect, Greg? Way too obvious, don't you think? He's barely smart enough to throw a punch. You think he's the mastermind? You mean someone else is behind this? Let me give you advice. Stand aside. You will just get in the way. Now, I'm just getting ticked off. I feel offended. Chris can't boss me around. I want to help Tim, and I'll do it. And I think with us hitting... Even though these scenes seem to be very short, comparatively, I think we might call it. Because I do want to, you know, poke around some things. Okay, it only goes back here. Back to classroom. Don't know why I want to talk to him. I would uh, go back to class. Okay, maybe it does skip a scene. No, let's also go here. Can't do this. Personal. Stay personal. Go back to classroom. Okay, so just skip stuff. Don't touch her. Shouldn't it be weird to pet him? Take it back, guys. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> so, it's just skipping things. Okay, no more you know. But anyways, end of this side play. So, please comment, because all it comes... Tell me what you like, dislike, tip streaks otherwise. If you like me, you and would like to see it grow, then please like, subscribe, and check out the videos to help it grow. And please remember to the animals to help control the pit population. And if you're interested in playing this game, it's available free on Fur Fendi. Let me just bring up the bonus. Boop. Right, you just go here and then go through the things. Uh, let's just see. Yeah, that's in, that's general rating, so you don't have to worry too much about that. Um, what is this game? Great Troubles? Which is also general, so you don't even need to have any accounts to go take a look at it. Though granted, when I'm looking at all their stuff, it's mostly PG, so you're probably going to have to go through that list for a while. Because Great Troubles is eight years ago? 2016? And... I promise is seven years ago, 2016 as well. And time flies. You'll get older. And, you know, eventually expire, I guess. Don't think about it. And until next time. Spade your homes. And until next time. Oh, sadly. Me. Game of six. Of Quaid Tolls. A game where there's lots of troubles for the main character. Mostly watching people get hand jobs, I guess. Boop. So thanks and see ya.